Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby and today I'm gonna be starting a thriller reading vlog. In this reading vlog, I'm gonna be reading three brand new thrillers that I'm very hyped about. The first one is The Maidens by Alex Michaelitis. This one is a thriller that goes on sale in June this year. I believe it's like June 15th. And this is the same author as The Silent Patient. And I'm very excited to read this because The Silent Patient is one of my all time favorite books. And this one kind of takes place on a college campus and it has to do with a professor getting accused of murdering one of his students. And then I'm going to be reading Too Good To Be True by Carola Lovering, which this one I didn't even realize was actually a thriller. This author previously wrote this book called Tell Me Lies, which I absolutely hated. So I was pretty nervous about jumping into this book. Now, all this book says about it is one love story, two marriages, three versions of the truth. And then the last book that I'm going to be reading for this video is The Minders by John Mars, which yes, this is the book troop book club pick for this month and I'm gonna be reading this and you can see some of my reaction to some of this book in this video. <laughs> These are the three books. It's gonna be a wild time. Let me send you back about a week ago. Good morning. So last night I stayed up reading and I got to page 163 of The Maidens. I swear I could probably finish this book in one sitting if I had the time to do so last night because this book is so interesting and I'm just really really loving it. I'm loving like this plot. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving where it like feels like it's going. I love like the college vibes too and that were mainly like all of the stories kind of taking place on this college campus. There's so much mystery. I don't trust anyone. I keep like literally underlining so many different parts being like, yeah, that's suspicious. Even if it's like not that suspicious because I just don't trust anyone and I'm loving it. And it's so crazy because this book is so different from The Silent Patient. Like if you didn't tell me that this was written by the same author, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't think that it's written by the same author, but because it is, I feel like I'm expecting even more from like the plot and the plot twist because I know that he can write an amazing plot twist after The Silent Patient. So I'm kind of expecting an amazing plot twist and I'm just so excited. Like I'm bringing it to work because I work all day today and I'm hoping I can get the chance to read more while I'm on break. And I would really love to finish this today because I need to know. And I feel like this is easily one of those books that you can read and be done with within like a few hours, you know, just cause it's so captivating and so interesting. I do feel so much for our main character, Mariana is her name, because she is dealing with, you know, like her husband recently just died a year ago. And so she's dealing with a lot of grief with that. And then she's going to see her niece who still lives on the college campus. And she used to go to this college. I'm enjoying this weird dynamic that this professor has with his students and he's very, sus and i just don't know what i don't know what to expect but i'm really really enjoying it hello it's like 1 30 and i'm on break and i'm jumping back in i'm so excited later in the night it's like 10 30 so it's not too late yet and i wanted to let you know that while i was on break i got all the way up to page 213 of the maidens and oh my gosh i'm just flying through this book i am really freaking enjoying it i got to part three and yeah part three um right before part three there was another just like it wasn't really like a twist but it was another like exciting thing happening in the plot and I was like oh my god I looked and I'm like mere pages away from part four and so I think I'm just gonna blast through this and finish it tonight because it's a Thursday night right now I don't really have any plans I don't work tomorrow in the morning I don't work till four so like I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I need to know what is going on. And also, the secret history vibes are very strong. It's very, you know, it's very Greek tragedy, college campus murder vibes, you know? And I'm here for it. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> Last night, I finished The Maidens, and I've gotta say, I... <laughs> 
really really enjoyed this book. There was at least one plot twist at the end that I really did not see coming and then there was one twist at the end that I kind of suspected a little bit but it wasn't like the first thing on my radar so I definitely appreciate that. I feel like while I wasn't as shocked by this book as I was by The Silent Patient, I do feel like I enjoy the overall vibes in this book a lot more than The Silent Patient. Like this is just something I'm a little bit more interested in and also also, if you read The Silent Patient, oh my god, you need to read this book. And I highly recommend reading The Silent Patient first because holy shit, that's all I'm gonna say. Holy shit. Yeah, wow, really enjoyed The Maidens. I, I think no matter what, um, I just really connect and vibe with this author and his writing. Like The Silent Patient and now The Maidens, like I just, I'll read anything. He writes like I really enjoy his writing style. I really enjoy his plot twists. I just think his books are really complex and creative and I just really enjoy his books. Like he's definitely putting himself up there as like one of my new favorite thriller authors. Like one of my go-to's auto buys. <coughs> Tank says hi and Tank also approves of The Maidens. <coughs> Tank also really enjoyed it. He read it next to me the whole time. Huh. Mm -hmm. He didn't actually, but he he really approves, I asked him. Anyways, today's Friday. I have to go over to my parents' house this morning and then I have work tonight, so I don't know when I'm gonna start the next book. It's Saturday night now and I wasn't really planning on reading this for this video, but I recently got Too Good To Be True from Book of the Month, and then I also was able to get my hands on the audiobook from Macmillan. I just decided that I'm gonna start this audiobook tonight. I didn't even realize, I guess, that this one actually is a thriller. Um, I don't know why I was assuming it was gonna be more just like, I guess, contemporary drama, like kind of like this author's first book was. I mean, I guess the reason why I'm so hesitant to read this book is because I read this author's previous book, Tell Me Lies, I think it was called, and it was a one-star book for me. It was one of my least favorite books that I've ever read, but this one does sound like it could be interesting, and I just barely started the audiobook. I've only listened to the first chapter, but I don't hate the audiobook so far. I feel like it's a it's a book that's written in a way where there's not a whole lot to think about. It's one of those books where it's not difficult to comprehend what's going on, if you know what I mean. So it's not going to take me a lot of brain power to read this. Something that I thought was funny right at the beginning of the book is that her, like this main character and her boyfriend call each other Goose. When they learned on the Discovery Channel that Moose... <laughs> I said moose. They learned on the Discovery Channel, I guess, that geese mate for life and like when they find their mate, they're just like, that's my mate for life. So they call each other goose because they're mates for life. And I kind of had a big LOL at that, like not gonna lie. I thought it was pretty funny. It's kind of like that notebook, you know, kind of romanticness, right? Like if you're a bird, I have a bird. They literally call each other goose. It's kind of hilarious. But um, despite that really like, you know, cringy thing so far, I don't hate the audiobook so I just feel like I'm too tired right now to physically like read a book with my eyes like use all my energy so I'm just gonna listen to this audiobook in my beats and just kind of like follow along in the book and maybe also play some games on my phone it's the next morning <laughs> and uh I didn't realize that we lost an hour last night I woke up this morning and I was like oh my god it's 10 30 already and I didn't realize that it was actually 9.30, but we jumped ahead because of daylight savings. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, we're going to Target. Hey, um, so it is the next morning. It's actually closer to 2 o'clock in the afternoon now because daylight savings got me fucked up. But I did want to say that last night I got about, like, 130 pages into the book. I've been mostly listening to the audiobook and I'm on chapter 20 so I have about seven to eight hours left of the audiobook. I'm 35% of the way into it and so far I'm enjoying it. Like it's not my favorite thing ever but it's definitely like it's just kind of like a thriller where you can just get through it very easily and it's not you know like like I was saying last night like it's not 
it doesn't take a lot of brain power to read books like this you know it's just like a fun mystery thriller the only thoughts i really have about it so far is that the main dude character is a huge piece of shit but i think that's supposed to be like implied you know and i do kind of like the way in this book i like that we're changing points of views because in this book we're following this girl sky i'm pretty sure is her name we're following her in the present day and then we're following burke which is like the male character we're following his diary entries so it's kind of like interesting to get his point of view from his own diary. And then in another point of view, we're following this girl Heather in the past, in like the 1980s. And I like the change of like changing the different characters and like seeing what's going to happen. I am curious about a few different things because I'm like, wait, what? Like, if that's the case, then what's going to happen in the present chapters? You know, like it's really interesting in that way. So I don't hate it, you know? I really didn't like Tell Me Lies, but so far this one, I don't hate it. I've seen some reviewers compare this book though, Too Good To Be True, to The Wife Between Us, and that makes me nervous because that was a one-star book for me as well, but fingers crossed, it's gonna go great. But um, it is Sunday afternoon, I don't have a lot going on today, and the Grammys are on tonight, so we're definitely gonna be watching that because my girl Taylor is nominated for six Grammys tonight, and she's performing, which like, I'm so excited to see her perform live again, but until then I thought it would be fun I ordered a bunch of fake tattoos from Inkbox They're this company that I've been wanting to get tattoos from for like forever I've always wanted to try these out and so I just bought like a whole bunch and I want to put at least like two of them on today I got the one that I'm really excited about is from Atticus and it's so cool because it's one of the quotes from one of my favorite poetry books and it just says love her but leave her wild and I want to put this one like on my arm I think and then it's really cute because I got a bunch of little like one inch size ones so they're like little baby ones I think they're supposed to be like for your fingers but I think I want to put one of those like right on my wrist I've also seen this super popular thing going around the internet mostly on TikTok recently where you do like a baked oats meal like where you take oats and you like make it with a bunch of other stuff and you put it in the oven and bake it and then it comes out and it's like really cool it looks like i don't know it looks like oatmeal but like more like cake like i don't know how to explain it but i've been really wanting to try this one for a few days now it's like a chocolate banana baked oats thing i can leave a link to the tiktok down below if you want to see like the full recipe but i keep seeing this one and i'm like i have everything to make this so like why not just make it So you rub in circles for 30 seconds. Okay, look at this. Oh my god. It smells so good. So now it goes in the oven for 20 minutes. Oh, it's time. Oh my god. I think it's gonna be amazing. It's also very hot. It's like chocolatey. Oh, no banana bread. <laughs> Damn, it just looks so cool. This is like the Aquarius symbol, I guess. It looks so cool. They said it's gonna be light blue at first and then within 24 hours it'll darken to like black ink, so. Cool! I'm just scared to rip mine off. I feel like this one's gonna hurt. It's gonna burn. It'll be like a real tattoo. Are no, you ready? Oh my God. Ready? Yeah. Ah! Okay, that didn't hurt actually. This, this one's gonna hurt. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Ooh, that hurt. What happened in 2020, but full of hope for what is to come. Oh my god. Oh, I knew it. I knew it'd be hard again. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Sunset is beautiful. Dude, please. Please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. Yes, bitch. It has been.
been a few hours. Some very exciting things have happened tonight. My girl, Taylor Swift, won album of the year for Folklore. And I'm just so shook and I'm so happy. And I just, you know, she had lost nearly every other category the whole night. So I was getting really nervous that she wasn't gonna win. And then seeing her win for Folklore was just everything. And she like broke a record tonight for being like the only female in history to win album of the year three times and she also has won it in three different genres holy crap what a queen and it was just so great and her performance just like made my whole night and it's fantastic but anyways on to what you care about which is the book and i'm getting very close to being done with this book i was actually listening to this audiobook still throughout most of the show. I mean, through most of the pre-show, I was just listening to this book and reading this book and my sister really likes watching like the red carpet and stuff, but I don't really care too much about that to be honest. Then throughout most of the award show, I was mostly watching the awards, but through some of the performances that I just didn't really care too much about, I was still reading. And so now I'm on page 285 out of like 330. I literally barely have anything left. And so I'm just gonna sit here and bust this out. And I've gotta say, I'm actually really enjoying this and I feel like there's so much more to this story than I originally expected. Like I just kind of went into this thinking it was just going to be this like dramatic story about this married couple and whatever kind of like the last, you know, her last book. But this one, it's actually like a thriller. Like there's actually some things happening. There's some plot twists. There's some things that I'm like, wait, what? Like some things that I just didn't expect. So I'm actually really enjoying it. I'm really surprised by it so far. Like this is looking to be a solid four stars. So I'm hoping that it ends on a good note. It's actually pretty dark. The Saturn one's getting pretty dark. And then this one, love her but leave her wild, isn't getting as dark, but I'm afraid it's because of all the air bubbles. Morning. So last night I did finish Too Good To Be True and the ending was just okay. For me, I feel like it ended on a little bit of a softer note than I would have liked. It was a really good book. Like, I do think I'm going to give it like 3.5 out of 5 stars. Like, it really surprised me. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did, so that's good. I think today I might start The Minders because that one is actually the Book True Book Club pick for the month of March. I'm doing a live show at the end of this month with Katie for that book, so I feel like now would be a good time to read that one. But right now I'm going to Barnes & Noble just because I want to like shop around and maybe purchase a book because I feel like it would make me happy. It's been a few hours. It's almost two o'clock in the afternoon now and I haven't really been doing a whole lot. <laughs> but I did want to show you that from Barnes & Noble, I purchased two books. Um, the first one I got, I'm pretty excited about. It's The Night Sister by Jennifer McMahon. What is going on today? Sorry, there's like loud construction in the back or something. But yeah, so The Night Sister, I'm pretty excited about this because it's the same author as The Winter People. And this one, it's not like a companion novel to that book, but everybody says it's like just as good and it has like a similar thing to The Winter People where it's doing that like back and forth t between two timelines kind of situation. Like there's a timeline in the past and then there's one in the present and you know, we go back and forth. And, and then I also went ahead and got Later by Stephen King. I will admit when this first came out, I wasn't totally sure if I was planning on reading this one or not but i saw it there and i was like holy shit it's so short it's like less than 300 pages it's like barely like 260 pages so i'm like okay this is like one of the shortest stephen king books i've ever seen i don't know it actually sounds pretty interesting like i don't think i realized what this book was even about when i was hearing that it was coming out but it's about like a kid that might have like supernatural abilities and shit Dude, can they not? I was looking on Goodreads and it has like a 4.2 average right now, which is like really good. Maybe I'll be tempted to pick up this one later this month. I don't know. It's just so short. It feels like it'll be a really easy read. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyways, I still do want to start The Minders at some point. I've actually been listening to the audiobook for The Echo Wife all morning, which is like this sci-fi thriller book. So I don't know if it's a great idea to start another sci-fi thriller book and get them all mixed up in my brain. But so far, I'm actually really enjoying The Echo Wife. I'm like already 50% of the way through the audiobook because it's such a short book. And I've just been listening to it all morning while I've been shopping and doing everything and eating and it's, it's pretty good so far.
has been a little bit. I just got to part two of the binders, which puts me about like 78 or 80 pages in or so. And um, yeah, something I didn't realize <laughs> about this is that at the start of this book, it literally spoils the one and the passengers, which are two of John Mars' previous books, if you didn't know. And when I chose this book for the book club pick, I had some people messaging me saying that it was spoiling the one and the passengers. And then I had some people messaging me saying that it just mentions the previous two books and that it doesn't really spoil it. I definitely consider everything that it mentions in this book about the other two books to be spoilers. Like it definitely spoils the ending of both previous books. So that kind of sucks because I didn't know, I didn't realize that when I picked this book to be the book club pick. Uh, if you want to read, you know, The One or The Passengers and you haven't done that yet, I would highly recommend reading those before you read this book because it definitely spoils a few of the surprises from the previous two books. I'm already really enjoying this book though. I feel like it's kind of like the same writing style as the one in the passengers where you're kind of following like five different characters and it's just like quick chapters from their point of view and you're just going through a lot of characters so i've been taking notes on which character is which because i can already see my brain getting totally confused and mixed up so far i do really like all the characters i'm finding some things about it to be really interesting like i literally had no idea what it was about right now going into it. I just saw the little blurb on the front that says five strangers guard our secrets and only four can be trusted. And I was like, what does that even mean? It seems like they're having some issues with like the internet security and like cyber security and things like that. They're trying to find these specific people that have this ability to like do certain things to help them with this project is basically what I'm understanding from this. I made it sound like it's not that interesting, but it's actually really interesting and I'm really enjoying it. And so far I already have like a few different theories about like what's gonna happen. I think it's pretty cool that like these five people are going to know like every government secret. Like they're gonna know every conspiracy, like everything about their government, but only four of them can be trusted. Okie dokie, what are you all curled up? <laughs> Dingy. Aww. Look at how dark the tattoos are now. They look so real. Do you want to hear a funny story? Earlier today, I washed all of my sheets and all of my blankets and my comforter. And when I was taking my comforter out of the dryer, I was like putting it up on my bed. And then Tank came and like ran up onto my bed. And I was trying to get him off because I was like the whole point of me washing this was so that there would be no traces of Tank on this comforter anymore. And then of course, when I'm telling him to get off, he like thinks we're playing. So he's like darting around all over, running all over my freshly clean things. And I was like yelling at him to get down. But every time I went to go like try to grab him, he kept trying to like bite my hands and thinking we were like playing. And so then I went to go like run out of the room because I know he always follows me whenever I run out. But then this particular time he didn't, of course. And so then when I came back in here, he finally like jumped down. And when I looked, there was like a puddle of urine on the comforter that I had just washed. Like it literally came out of the dryer like five seconds before and he peed on it somehow. So I don't know if he was just like scared or like getting too excited when we were playing or something, but... I was like, what the heck? <laughs> so I had to completely rewash and redry the comforter. And you know the comforter, it's really, it's a really thick comforter, you know? So it takes multiple runs in the dryer to dry this thing, like at least two or three times because it does not dry. And it's still kind of wet right now. Anyways, you don't care about this. Um, I'm 123 pages into the minders. I only read a little bit more and then I got hungry. So I went out and got some dinner. I got Panda Express. We took that shit to go. Hello, it's Tuesday night. I'm already back in bed reading the minders and I just repainted my nails because they were this really gross like pink color before and I'm just like not about having my nails pink. Like, I don't know. I feel like it makes me look so pale and pink when I have pink nail polish on. So I changed it to this new like blue gray one that I got and it's so shiny and so cute and I love it. I'm gonna jump back into the minders. I don't think I've read anything since I last updated you. Hello, it's been 24 hours since I last updated you, I'm pretty sure. And I'm on page 170 right now. And I'm kind of getting to that point where I can't tell 
if the story is starting to slow down and get kind of boring or if my brain is just having a more difficult time focusing right now. Don't you love when that happens? I just, I can't tell if it's the story or if it's me, but like, I'm just like losing interest a little bit, just a, just a little bit. I just feel like since uh, part two happened, things have slowed down a little bit in the story. And even though the chapters are still really short, which I appreciate, I really do, things are starting to slow down in the book. So I'm just hoping things like pick back up soon. Hello, it is Friday morning <laughs> and I have finished the minders. I actually barely even read the other night that I updated you and then last night I read a decent chunk of like the last bit of it just because I decided I just wanted to push through with it and I actually stayed up until like 2 15 in the morning last night finishing this which I never do anymore okay I never stay up late reading anymore at least not that late but I got to part three and then after part three there was literally only like 50 pages left of the whole book and I was like I just want to finish it tonight. Like, I just want to get through the rest of the book. I don't want to say too much about my thoughts on this book because, you know, I do have a live show coming up for this book. I actually just announced this morning on Instagram that the live show is going to be with Katie and it's going to be on my channel on Monday, March 29th at 1 p.m. PST and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. So I am really excited to discuss this book a lot more in the live show. Um, but all I will say for now is that I enjoyed most of this book, but also this book almost put me in a reading slump for some reason. It's not that I didn't like it, it's just that I found it to be, I don't know, I guess I found it to be a little bit repetitive at times. I don't think I enjoyed this one as much as The One or The Passengers, like I definitely would recommend those two books over this book. And I guess I just had a few different like nitpicky things about this book, but for the most part it was a good time. So I guess that's all I'm going to say about it. I don't really want to say my final rating or anything yet because I don't really know to be honest. I still have to think about it more. As for the three books that I read for this video, I will say my number one favorite that I read for this video was The Maidens without a doubt. This is, you know, a 4.5 out of 5 for me. I loved this and I'm so glad that I loved this because I kind of expected to love it because I loved The Silent Patient so much. So I'm so glad that it lived up to the hype for me. It was just so freaking great and I just can't stop thinking about it. I think it was so fun. And then second is actually going to be Too Good to be True, which is definitely a surprise. I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to and even though the ending was kind of like annoying and weird, this was still like a solid four star book for me and I'm really surprised by that. And then in the last place we have The Minders, which this doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy this book. I just didn't enjoy it as much as these other two books that I read for this. So yeah, that is a wrap on this video. Again, the live show for The Minders is coming up pretty soon here, so we can look forward to talking more about this book together soon. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess let me know your thoughts. Like, are you planning on reading either of these two books or have you already and what are your thoughts? And thanks so much for watching and for hanging out with me and I will see you very soon with a new video.